AI is reshaping air power, and Russia is racing to turn cheap, smart systems into battlefield advantage. Russia's clearest advantage is force multiplication, AI lets inexpensive platforms do work that once required costly sensors or elite crews. Swarms of guided loitering munitions and FPV drones, paired with AI target recognition, pressure air defenses by forcing them to waste expensive interceptors or accept some strikes through. The S-70, Okotnik, and Loyal Wingman concepts show how Moscow plans to scale combat power without more pilots. Designed to pair with the Su-57, the S-70 can scout, jam, and prosecute targets under human supervision, extending reach and dispersing risk across manned-unmanned -manned teams. On smaller platforms, systems like the Lancet family and the new V2U demonstrate machine vision and automatic target selection in action. These loitering munitions can hunt, ID, and strike high-value soft targets with minimal human target inputs, identified. delivering persistent, low-cost effects that are hard to counter at scale. Resilience to EW is another strength. Russian developers are shifting toward visual navigation, inertial guidance, and onboard ML models so drones and munitions can operate where GNSS is denied, a practical adaptation to the contested electronic battle space. Odessa-Journal.com Finally, modularity and rapid upgrades make AI a force accelerator. Modular guidance stacks, camera-based seekers, and incremental ECCM add-ons let Moscow field capability improvements quickly without wholesale redesigns, a pragmatic path when budgets and production capacity are constrained. AI won't win wars alone, but it exponentially increases what cheap weapons can do. Want a deep dive on S-70, Lancet, or V2U Tech? Comment below and subscribe to WarTech World, we'll break each system down.